update on the iMac project. Uh, just to let you know, I did get the laptop screen off. Uh, I was going to do a video on it, but it took like zero effort and was super easy, so it would have made a good video. So I just did it. Um, so, one of the things I do want to look at is how we can get it to fit inside of the case that it's going to live in. So, it's going to look roughly like that, which is pretty awesome. Um, I don't have the cables to hook it up yet, so that's an issue. Um, also, I'm not going to be able to actually mount this yet because we're going to have to have access to this section of it uh, once we get the cable in. So we can't actually mount it, but we can figure out how we're going to mount it. So that's what we're going to do today. Part of me just wants to just hot glue it and be done, but that's probably not the best idea. But it is something we could do. We might do it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we're going to work on that specifically today, uh, but we are just going to work on this project today. So we'll see what we can get done, how much we can get done, and we'll go for there. So this actually fits in here quite nicely, just as is. So uh, I don't know how the rest of this hardware and mounting sort of stuff goes in here. So it's been so long since I took this apart. Um, but yeah, it just sits right in there. It fits right against the bezels here, right against the bezels there. Um, we actually could just spot some hot glue in here and you'd be fine. So we might do that. But we can't actually secure this thing until we get the cable. And I'm gonna have to order it from China, so it's gonna take me a month. So yeah, there's that. So I guess we can start piecing the framework of this thing back together um, and seeing how it fits into this main shell. Um, I realize this isn't actually how that goes now. Put this guy back down. Um, we also should affix that guy somewhere because that plug's not going to be accessible from the outside of the unit. All right, so to get the guy out of the way, we just screwed into the board here. Uh, that hole's a little bit threaded, so we just use those threads in that hole to, to screw down there. Uh, sorry, I forgot to turn the camera back on. We did that. So that's one thing. This uh, we're probably just going to take off until we can figure out how it's wired. So that needs to get wired into this, which we also need to find the wiring for. So this guy needs to turn into this guy. Um, so we'll be doing that at some point. Uh, I don't know if I'll record that or not. It's probably pretty boring, just me figuring out the pin out of this, figuring out the pin out of this, and then connecting the two together. So might be interesting. Uh, I doubt it. If you guys want to see it, let me know. Because I'll probably record it regardless. I just don't know if I'll make it actually to the video because I have to cut a lot of stuff up to get these things as short as they are, which is saying something because they're not really short. We need to figure out how we're doing these wireless antennas. We've got three antennas to place. I'm not 100% sure how these things work, so I don't know how to place them, but uh, we're just going to kind of put them around the perimeter of the, uh, the plastic piece that holds this piece in, so we'll just kind of do that as we go. Power supply. The next thing we need to do is get the power supply hooked up which I don't know where I put. So with the power supply, I've got kind of mixed feelings. Uh, part of me wants to crack this block open and wire it in directly to here. Uh, another part of me just wants to get an extension cable, cut it up, wire that to here, and then this to that, uh, which is probably what we're gonna actually do, because I don't really want to destroy this original power supply, uh, just because of they're pretty expensive to replace. I don't really want to mess it up if I don't have to. So. As far as extension cables to destroy, I have one of these left over from the, uh, the, the video game cabinet. So I'm probably just going to tear one of those apart. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I think the three pack is like $5 or something. So I think that's what we're going to do. Just take this head off, hook it here, and then actually plug the power supply into that. So I think that's our game plan. So we're going to need to get the soldering iron going. Okay, so that's going to heat up. Um, I guess while it's heating up, we can start taking this guy apart. I guess the nice part about it being see-through is you can see where the wires go. You don't have to, like, figure out the pen out. Hopefully, Lady Bumpa doesn't watch this video. She's going to be mad if she's going to be cutting apart new things. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? I think we just go straight in half on the cable. I got 10 snips somewhere. Those are my toolbox. Also, I'm still organizing. 
I actually bought a toolbox, but there's nothing in it yet. So it's gonna take me probably a couple days to sort out all my tools. All right, so I can't find my aviation snips. If you guys wanna play a fun game, hit pause and do a Where's Waldo, see if you can find them, but I can't. So if you find them, let me know. So we're gonna attempt to do this in a couple of passes with standard wire strippers. Oh, that should work. Cool, so looks like the middle one's ground and then the outer two are those two. Okay, this is a stranded cable, that's good. Stranded cable is much easier to work with. All right, got all the wire stripped down there. So it's gonna be just like that. Not, I just stick them in the plugs, right? If I honestly knew where I could get the female plug of this, I'd actually plug it in. Oh, we actually could just stick it in the plugs. This is 110, let's not do that. Let's not fool around with safety on a 110 volt wire. That's a good way to catch something on fire. Have you guys ever gotten shocked by 110? It's pretty fun. That's my attempt at sarcasm. It's not fun at all. Um, it's not as bad as 220. I have gotten gotten got by 220 before. That was a, a very unnerving experience. Some pun intended. Just gonna flip it off. Whew. That hurts. I turn back. I should probably attempt to find the heat shrink at this point too. Well, that's a lot thinner. Well, I guess for the voltages or the amperage this thing's gonna use, it's not that bad. It'll work, but it's unnerving. But this is also a heavy duty cable, which is way more than this thing could ever use. So I'm gonna stop, see if I can take up some heat shrink. I'll be right back. Alright, no heat shrink, but I did find the electrical tape. So we can at least electrically isolate these things. So better than nothing. I hope I have enough solder to do this. I'm almost out. stick it underneath so no bigs there it's still really hot pro tip soldering gets hot that's not really a pro tip so much as common sense but sometimes common sense doesn't work with electronics so just get it as best we can and crank it down now take this guy up throw it up over the side there. So as long as we go in, as long as we go in there, that should be fine. And we can come back up that same hole. Okay. And then plug in here. And then that can drop down like that. I don't want to get started on putting this back together, but I only have time today. I also don't remember exactly how it works. It's been entirely too long since it's been put. Is this structural at all? I can't remember. So let's get this out of the way. Back to it. 
So this is supposed to sit under here somewhere. As like an EMI shield. There's nothing under there anymore. I don't think it's structural, but it could help us with the alignment and stuff, so we'll probably put this back on. And we're actually probably just going to tuck the power supply inside of this little cage here. Tidy up all the wires. Using the included Velcro strap. And then we'll just come back up. I've got to plug in there, but this is flexible, so we can make it work however we need to make it work. Probably something like that, just to give it some flex room, since it's not entirely critical. Um, I've got to stop. I'm out of time for this morning. So we'll come back to this um, and tidy this stuff up and get everything, get to our next stopping place next time. Which hopefully will be tonight, but I'm not sure yet. So I made an absolute ton of progress since the last time I had the camera on. Um, I just kind of hacked through this and it took several hours so I didn't really feel like recording all that and then getting it back in here. Um, but we got to a stopping point. Got the whole shell back on. All the internals are hooked up. The wireless is hooked up. Um, we've got it set up as my new desk PC. Running my uh, desk monitor here which is crap ratio, crap resolution, but it's what I've got to work with um, as far as extra monitors go. Uh, if you want to see some more pictures of the steps along the way, I did take some snapshots of that. Uh, you can check it out um, on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, um, Instagram, all those guys. Um, and i got links to all those below in the description, so go check them out. Uh, if you're not following me on those, go ahead and jump on that. Um, but basically, we're at a stopping point here. Um, the screen fits nicely in there, but I don't have the electronics to hook it up yet. So I've got to order those. They're going to come from China, so it's going to take forever to get here. I mean, so it's probably going to be a month or two before we come back to this, uh, just waiting on those parts coming from China. I haven't ordered it yet. It'll be this weekend before I get around to that um, to get the LCD screen hooked up. Uh, I am going to work on very soon getting the front audio jacks hooked up. Those aren't hooked up yet. Um, I've got to find out the pin out of that thing and then wire it into the front audio jacks of the laptop motherboard there. So. Um, that's going to take a little bit of work. Um, I haven't been able to find schematic sports. It's going to be all done by hand by me. So that's going to be fun. I'll probably video that. Uh, or at least do a short video on that. Um, I've also got to do some research. I'll hook you up the CD drive. Um, it uses a weird connector. Let me show you that. Alright. So our Apple 4X Mac Speed DVD ROM came with the iMac. It uses this weird connector here. Which, interestingly enough, the same one that the laptop's Blu-ray drive uses. Um, so that's pretty cool. So um, I'm going to do some research on that, see if we can find an extension cable for that. If any of you guys know where I can find one, throw me a link down in the comments. Uh, save me some time on the research there. Uh, but basically we're going to try and go from the motherboard itself uh, via a cable to this. And if we can do that, if we can use the factory drive in the iMac, which would be pretty sweet. Um, otherwise, it's via slot load DVD drive and probably USB hookup for it, and that's just that's expensive, and I don't want to do it. So, uh, if you guys know where to find one of those, let me know. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, this is also a half height drive, which is really weird. It's a weird little drive. Um, we also have some extra storage in there. We can put an extra drive in. Uh, but it would have to hook up USB because the uh, laptop doesn't have any extra SATA ports on it. It just has the one for the main drive. So any additional ports we'd have to hook up via USB, and I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, other things I'm going to do in the near future, I'm going to order a new LED strip like the one on my desk. Uh, you guys may have seen it. I will try and get some video of that and stick in here. Um, we basically start at little pillar here go down around that lighter strip all the way around up through here uh, and throw an RGB LED strip on that so we can actually light this thing from the inside because I think that'd be pretty baller 
Um, please excuse my use of the word baller. It's just the first term that came to mind. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap this video up. Hit that like button. Get subscribed uh, if you haven't already. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, check out my awesome side up kissing uh, Snorlax. It's a cute. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.